people of the world, I am Ryan a Maniac. Steve Atroni is here. And we are the Cyborg Gamers, conquering the world one game at a time. And welcome to Back to the Future, the game! Also by I, I, Telltale. Not not quite as well remembered as Walking Dead, but it's still a good game. Yeah. It's like, it's the proper fourth. But, but you know, but you know we need to start this game. What? 1.21 gigawatts. We need 1.21 gigawatts to start this game. Enough locks, Compassion. Now, I've watched all three movies and played through all this before. This is the proper fourth movie. But I've I've seen it. I've seen all the movies. You've seen, like, the first one, maybe. I've seen the first one, half of the second one, and bits and beats of the last one. Okay. So, you're probably going to get spoiled on a lot of stuff. Okay. But then again, I played this before I had I seen any of the movies, so. All right. So, let's start this. We gotta go back to the future, but also uh, the past. Yes, show, yes, show goals. Show goals, because I would probably be super lost if I didn't. Oh, we got Sundays today. Yeah. So we have ice cream. It's become a habit for us. Starring to that part bugs me. All right, I'm ready. Why? I don't know why. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th. 1985 You recognize the scene, though, don't you? You got that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. You do recognize this, right? Yeah. It's the first scene. It's the, it's the, no, it's the, first, the first movie. Travel, yeah. Yeah. So here's your test. In a minute, it's gonna give you some dialogue. Not me. The car. The Let's car. see if you can actually get all the lines right, as they were quoted in the movie. Uh, dude, I've seen it twice, and I ha I can't, I didn't pay attention to the lines. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits well, 80 miles per you. hour, oh, God. you're gonna see some serious shit. Whoa! Well, you don't remember that line? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, you are. Oh, here it comes. Put down your ice cream. You ready? Am I supposed to? That one. Oh. Oh. No. What is it? That one. <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm trying to help you choose the lines as they were in the movie. So you get the scene correct. Zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc. You disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. <laughs> the best part is if you don't say that, like, he'll still say the regular sentence. Like, he'll just be like... It's just gonna be like. It's just, it's just, it's just like, calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1:21 a.m. Okay. Okay. seconds, we shall catch up with him. And and the the time, time machine. machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you Can telling you me you built a time machine? machine? Out of a door? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, I see it. If you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it in some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Look out! But wait a minute. Something's wrong. Uh, Doc? Uh oh. Huh. That's peculiar. Oh. Uh, Where's the car, Doc? This Should isn't the movie. With us 27 seconds ago. Something is very wrong here. Doc, uh, well, no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. I like how any inconsistency in the mo movie is always answered with it's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Deja, Marty. Yeah, you get that for quoting the movie exactly. Uh, ba, 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 okay. Everything here is just as it was in the movie, except for nope. you know that's no nope. longer J.C. Penny because oh, okay. they it. couldn't get the rights to it. Probably. Flux capacitor. Now it's called J.P. Penny. That's it. A 
What the heck's a flux capacitor? What? The thing that makes time. I Whoa, travel what possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary yeah, to build a working right time then. machine. Yeah. I never felt any more hands. The consequences oh, could be catastrophic. Maybe skip that. Let's see. It's mass equals high times z, and e equals the square root of z that times familiar. z squared. And the flux you is just the is inversely. Consequences could be catastrophic. Whoa, déjà vu. Fines? Oh. On fine? Neither. Doc, what is it? I made a horrible mistake. I'd love to meet Christopher Lloyd. Doc! Doc, no! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Oh, no. Wait, shouldn't Marty not be there either? It's all just a dream. It was only just a dream. Marty, is everything okay? Oh, mom, what happened to you? <laughs> yeah, mom, I it was it was just a nightmare. Rain, I mean, yeah. I was in the past, and, and Doc was there. Back oh, to you're safe three. and sound now. Back in good old 1986. 1986. This is six months after the events of the third movie. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc? Well, oh, the quick. game I'm late. has no appearance of the time train. That's a lot of like. I've only been able to choose only a few certain things so far, so let's see if we can get this. We're only in the opening minutes. Game Jules Verne's first edition Jules Verne's. Nice. I like those. You know how he got those, don't you? Yeah. He has a time machine. <laughs> Model of Hill Valley. He didn't have time to build it to scale. <laughs> that one clock with the cat always stuck sticks out to me. I don't know why. Because it's the only one with moving eyes. Yeah, I guess so. And it's the only one with. It looks like Felix the cat. That's, That's probably it why it became famous. Yeah, the speaker. Yeah. Stupid yeah. sound. He made me look bad. Oh, the video's fine. Story consultant Bob Gill. Like, they got the guys who made the movies to help with this. Dad! You know are we good. too late to stop the... Sam? Oh, no. Better late than never. You who are these other people walking around? Where stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... I just so thought of it. What are those people upset, walking around for? But your friends been I'm like, I know they're there the for city that really scene, seems but... Hell -bent on using they don't show up new in the rest garage. of the scene. And, hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? Yes, it is! It's just not fair. At least things can't get any worse. Bull crap. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if you're a crackpot headed in buried treasure. Buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. Alright, time to play the game. Okay. So, let's look at it. That was one of the main the reasons I picked up, I bought the 30th Anniversary Edition. Because the 30th Anniversary Edition, they got Tom Wilson to come back and do Biff. Like, in the original version, it's just some random guy. A fish called tank. Called, like, Kid I Beyond or Doc something. Doc raised fish. Doc's fish and weird taste in decor. I kind of like Doc. Keep an eye on all these little tiny little things. Nature control. So that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example. Well, Marty knows that all too well. I ain't saying that was like, what, two movies? Hey, let me! Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. 
This is a very emotional time for him. Uh, oh, sure. Uh, sorry, Marty. But I don't part... There's something about Tom Wilson. Like, his audio seems off compared to the, rest, the other guys. Yeah. Like, it just seems a bit off. Like, you can tell it was added in later. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Maybe because he's got a time machine? That gives him the last time to pardon? Oh, what? Oh! How did I click on that? I don't know. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. Well, it's mostly just a watch. Uh oh! Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse! You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff. Can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Oh boy. Uh. All right, pick one. Which one should I pick? It doesn't matter. If so my folks go way back. Yeah. So. So how about letting me have that model courthouse uh, for old times' sake? Uh, I think I'll keep wow, it. Wow, <laughs> you jerk! Give You're forgetting. This is Biff Tannen. Well, the well, king of jerks. Oh well no. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux cap? Oh <laughs> gosh! Doc asked me if knows about food. the flux capacitor. This looks like it might be worth. Well, it. to be fair, he found out about it too. Oh, how can I? And went back and gave his younger self the sports almanac. Hey, Biff. And, uh... Uh... Can see if you can get it back from him. Talk to him. Uh, Say something! I'm ten between reminds me of Doc and... It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll pay you for it. How much? Um... Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Biff, you're great. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. Shut up, you butthead. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? <laughs> yes, I am. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a yeah. way. I'll take my chance. You jerk. But I'm not going to say it's worthless, because he's just going to say, then why do you want it so badly? Believe it or not, that's exactly really? what Really? <laughs> It's like if it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Powered pencil sharpener. Now go. To, you're gonna go to the jukebox. Whoa, whoa! I just like. Oh, there's the mine helmet. Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. Uh, you got it, Mr. McFly. Did he keep? No. They didn't get. I sadly don't think they got Crispin Glover back. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Why would Doc leave something like that? Oh wait. Wait, he puts it. What? Enough of that junk. Now Biff. Now Biff. Now Biff. Sorry, Marty. I was just about to say. Now Biff. You did just say. Now I know. Biff. What's in there? Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that. You'll see all the stuff later. Oh, it smells like beef stew. Did Michael J. Fox do this voice? Actually, no, that's not Michael J. Fox. It sounds a lot like They got a sound alike, because at the time, Michael J. Fox was not available. But Michael Dad, does appear in a future a episode. On it? Ah. And from what he sounds Sorry, in that son. one, I'm kind of glad they got the sound alike part. instead. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out Because Mark, Michael J. Fox, sound, like he's got sound. Make some noise. He's got the sound of, you know, he's been... He's aged, that sort of thing. Oh boy. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some hook, jerks hook, gonna hook, pick hook it the up guitar off to it. Hook the guitar off to it. I'm trying. Where? How do? It's I... in your inventory. It's X. Okay. Um. X is your inventory. X. Use. And I use it on the amplifier controls. There you go. Here's an oldie. 
Buddy Goody. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look. It's Chuck Butthead. I get that reference. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Now, Bill. I, I think that's Marty's guitar. <laughs> you don't oh, think it uh, is his gosh. guitar. Uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. He is oh, scared go, Marty. Let's of Marty's dad. Of course, you forget the events. Of the first movie where he laid him out in the parking lot. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. No. Okay. Have you, are you starting to make the connection yet? Hey, go ahead. Yeah, our dog just came in here. Uh, About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. Guess you can. I guess you can. <laughs> that face right there. Okay, son. I'll mm. stay out of your way. You know where to find Actually, me. I want to test that up. I want to test that. I'll test what? Around. Thanks, I want to Dad. go to the jukebox and see if his dad will say anything. I know what happens. What happens? You'll see. He's listening for an old Choose familiar it. tune. Choose it. Choose the jukebox. Yeah, hold L2, by the way. Yeah, I'll give you the little dots. Why can't I pick the... Maybe you're not in the right spot. Move over closer to the town. There you go. There okay. You, go. you just had it. There we go. Wait, I, I got. Here's a familiar what? tune. You can just barely hear it. Hear it? You hear it? No, I can't really hear it. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's supposed to be Back in Time by oh. Huey Lewis. Oh. But, hey, back in time. But I think you, you, we just can't hear it because we just now, have to turn up something. Now, something your kids are really going to like. Thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. Why is he calling this his boss's son? Biff, you're making a mistake. Now watch me blow the lid off this. What do you say? You have just skipped so much dialogue. Did I did? Yeah. I, di I didn't press anything. No, I mean, you could have talked to... Oh. Oh, shit. You could have talked to, uh... George, and, uh, gotten more information of, like, what's going on, why there's a sale. Uh, oh. Stuff. Well, you can just give us Where the synopsis. You? Well, it's basically just been... Doc's been gone a while. For like a good six months now. And no one's heard from him. And so they're selling off, the bank's selling off his stuff. Oh. But now, suddenly, the DeLorean. Kind of like, like kind of like when Bilbo Baggins returned back from, from his journey and people thought he was dead. Kind of like that, yeah. Okay. But th in that case, they were just giving his things away. What's the DeLorean doing here? If I remember correctly, the DeLorean was destroyed. They made a new one. No, it gives a good, it gives a reasoning why there's a new Where DeLorean. Where come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? We'll find out. Don't worry. Can we guess an alternate timeline? Uh, you'll find out later. There it is, Flux Capacitor looking all fluxy. There's a shoe! Get a shoe! No? Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently... And one of them just happened to be a time you'd be at his place. 
Wibbly wobbly, time will wind me stuff. Yep. Shouldn't Dog know that's a risky business? Why is he having a conversation with a recorded message and it's somehow acting? It's just like iRobot right, right. stuff. Last time departed. Last time it's, departed. Uh, it's time oh, travel. Geez. Come on. Come it's the on. same series that has a time traveling DeLorean. Crap. Oh great. When are we supposed to find him now? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that shoe has something to do with him. Also, okay, why is he sending Marty come back months, and get him? I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. I specifically remember in Back to the Future 3, that's what Marty's what he specifically told Marty not to do. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Okay, I think I'm he's like it. He's like Marty, I'm in 1885. I've been living here for like six months now, or like nine months. Don't come back for me. Just go back to 1985 and leave me alone. And then destroy the time machine. Okay. Can I leave? No, you got a shoe. What do I do with the shoe? What, trouble is docking? what, no. what, is, what do dogs normally do, Jacob? When you give them something. <laughs> What do you know there about you this shoe, Aini? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Okay, now we're off to five. I don't like him calling him Aini, because it sounds like he's saying Heine. Really? Yes, I'm serious. Grow up. Grow up. I'm just saying, that's what it sounds like. Whoa. Where did he He had a this? skateboard with okay. him. That's how he got to Doc's place. Okay. Okay, now we're getting Maybe. somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Aini? Okay. Uh, we're going to have to leave it off here. Next time, we're going to find out why Einstein brought us here. Why we have a flipping shoe! <laughs> why it was a shoe, what's going on with Doc, all that good stuff. So like, subscribe, com leave a comment, give us suggestions of what else we to play. Because we're pretty much looking for any suggestions right now. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you, for the, thank you for watching and listening to us ramble on about Back to the Future. Yes, and this is the Cyborg Gamers signing out. 1.21 Jawa.